Hello everybody. I have a new or at least updated plugin. It's actually just a combination of plugins. It's for a measurement model, CFA, and it combines the Validity Master with HTMT. So, uh, I'll show you what it does, then I'll show you where to get it. In plugins, I'll do Validity and Reliability Test. It thinks for a sec. And then it produces this. Your model validity measures, including your correlation matrix with CRAV and a few other things, and the square root of the AVE on the diagonal. And then if you scroll down, you can see the HTMT analysis, which is from another plugin. So we just combined these two, and I thought they'd be useful because you do need to see them together. They give you roughly the same information on discriminant validity and uh, the added information convergent validity in the top table. Now, as for where to get it, you can go to the stat wiki and then go to the plugins info and scroll down a little bit. There's a plugins and estimands Google Drive folder. Go there. It's just the same places with all the plugins. I'm just showing you again, just in case you've forgotten. Version 24 or higher, and this does work with version 26. I just tested it. And then it's this mastervalidity.dll. It should have been updated today uh, by me. So you're going to click on it and right click download. And when you download it, it's going to warn you because it is a DLL file. So you're going to click on this discard, not on the discard, you're going to click on the um, up arrow and select keep. And then do this, don't click on it, just open the folder it's in. And it should open your downloads folder. Up at the top here, the first thing you want to do is, again, not open it, but right-click it, go to its properties, and check this box for unblock. If you don't do this, it won't work. So unblock this, hit OK, and then you're going to put this into the correct folder. So you can just copy it or cut it. Um, just I'm going to just copy for now. And then you're going to go to your C drive and users, and then your username, mine is Jay Gaskin, and then to app data, which is right here, if you don't see it, you need to go to view and check the box for hidden items, then it'll show up. And then local, and then Amos development, and then Amos, and then the correct version, for me it's 26, and then plugins, and then paste it in here. Mine's already here, so I'm not going to overwrite it and then open Amos. If Amos was already open while you were doing this, close Amos, reopen Amos, and it should be available in the plugins menu right here, probably at the bottom. I hope that's helpful. Good luck. Uh, if you do run into errors, you can go here, go to that plugins info area, and at the bottom there's troubleshooting. So if you have problems, check here first. If it still doesn't work, feel free to reach out to me. All right, good luck.